The vector P of length 10 unit makes an angle 60 degree with the vector Q of length 6 unit. Find the magnitude of P vector minus Q vector and the angle it makes with the P vector is. So we know that if you are having a vector taken as A vector, another vector is taken as B vector and angle between them is theta. So if you want to find out the value of A vector minus B vector, we will use this equation that is under root of A square plus B square minus 2AB cos theta. Now if you are putting uh, this equation, so A square means nothing but uh, 10 square plus B square means 6 square minus 2 into A we can take it as 10 and uh, B we can take it as 6 into cos of 60. Now we know that the value of cos 60 is nothing but 1 by 2 so this can be written as under root of 100 plus 36 minus 2 into 10 into 6 into cos 60 is 120 uh, cos 1 by 2 so this one and uh, this one get cancelled. So you can write this as under root of 100 plus 36 minus 60. So you can write 100 minus 60 that is 40 plus 36 or which we can take it as 76. So root of 76 will be the value of its <coughs> magnitude and if you want to find out the value of angle between angle that uh, resultant vector makes with uh, P. So we can take it as uh, we know the equation for uh, angle between vectors or angle between resultant vector and uh, A vector. The equation is tan alpha is equal to we can take it as it is B sin theta upon A minus B cos theta. Now over here uh, instead of B we'll have uh, 6 instead of sin theta we can write as sin 60 divided by instead of A we have 10 minus 6 into cos 60. Now we can put the value. So we'll get the value of tan alpha is equal to 6 into sin 60 is root 3 divided by 2 divided by 10 minus 6 into cos 60 is nothing but 1 by 2. So we can write this as uh, 6 and this 2 we can cancel so it will be uh, 3 so we can write as 3 root 3 divided by 10 minus 3 which we can take it as 7. So it is 3 root 3 by 7. So the value of tan alpha is this so the value of alpha can be written as nothing but tan inverse of 3 root 3 divided by 7.